Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you my tattoos. Obviously I haven't got that many tattoos yet, but uh, eventually there will be more to come in the future, because let's face it, you cannot stop once you start it. I know that I can't. I just simply love getting tattooed. It's like a photo album or scrapbook where memories are kept permanently. So, just to give you a little introduction. When I was a kid, I always looked up to other people having tattoos. Being into rock and heavy metal at a young age, most of my idols had tattoos. So I wanted to be just like them. Of course, there's also a kind of curiosity. You want to find out what it feels like to get tattooed. So what I'm going to do now is um, show you my tattoos and give you a little bit of background information. Tell you a little bit about them. I had my very first tattoo when I was 19. It was done by my best friend at the time. We went to college together and um, he was pretty heavily tattooed and also did most of the tattoos on his body by himself. It just came naturally that I asked the guy and uh, we hook up and he did my first tattoo. Believe it or not, he was into this um, ancient technique of doing tattoos. So on my very first tattoo he he used that technique of just taking a basic sewing needle, putting a string to that and uh, just dipping it in ink and... Yes. He pushed that needle through my skin a couple of hundred times, even breaking a few needles on the way and complaining about my elephant-like skin. Boy, I can tell you, my first experience was that I was sweating like a pig and even bit my sweatshirt to keep me from yelling. I really felt like getting tortured by the guy. The following sessions after that one were smoother. No more suing involved, but still, he used traditional hand poking. That basically is just a needle on a stick. After over 20 hours of toe work, we were done. I loved the result. Still today, this is one of my absolute favorite tattoos. Not having that much cash on my hands, I traded in a guitar for his work. My second tattoo was done by the same guy. It was just a small tattoo of Room 512. It's a verse from the Bible, but also a black metal album by the band Marduk. In fact, this tattoo just got covered up recently, because it doesn't fit with the rest of my tattoos. With the latest two tattoos on my forearm, I decided to let it go and just put some shades over it. Damn, I hate shading, it hurts like a bitch. But see for yourselves. I hate you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> My third, and you could say my first, real tattoo was done in my hometown. It is a tattoo of a band logo of my favorite band, the Devin Townsend Project. Devin Townsend is my biggest hero, and with his current band he created music that is just simply out of this world and means so much to me. So I wanted to get their logo tattooed. Speaking of music, this is John Dyer Baisley from the fantastic band Baroness. He is not only a musician, but also a great artist and painter. He created a lot of art for his own band and also other projects. One of them being Quellatar from Norway. Their debut album featured an amazing image, which I liked so much that I just had to get it. Liking both bands and having huge respect for his paintings, it just clicked for me. And it made perfect sense for me to get it as a tattoo. By the way, this tattoo was done at Holy Ghost Tattoo, the studio where I had most of my tattoos done. Tattoo number 5 was as spontaneous as it could get. My friends and I traveled to London, England to go see the Devon Townsend project. They were coming to the Royal Albert Hall, which is now a legendary show. 
The day before we went to see the show, I went to a part of town called Hammersmith, home to famous Hammersmith tattoos, where I fixed an appointment with a guy called Sammy Connelly. My idea was to get to meet the band after the show, get their signatures on my forearm and just get them tattooed the next morning. Eventually the band left early and I didn't get their signatures. And that really bummed me out at first. But the very next day, I knew that I had to take this appointment anyways. I wanted to get something awesome that would remind me of my trip to England. Reminding me that I traveled to England just to see that show. Well, if you are familiar with Devin Townsend, you should know that he has brought out two concept albums about an alien life form named Ziltoid the Omniscient. It has become the band's mascot and was the overall theme of the show at Royal Albert Hall. So here it is! He is still a bit alone up there on my arm, but I am planning on adding some crazy shit to make it look spectacular. We are now coming to the most important tattoo of them all. It is the portrait of my mom. My mom is the most important person in my life. This was also a very spontaneous tattoo, but wasn't realized right away. I had to fight to get this appointment and travel to a tattoo convention to get it done. I knew that I wanted to get a portrait of her. I just wasn't sure which picture to choose from. In the end, I went with this 33 year old picture taken at her wedding. And I am so happy with it. One of the hardest parts of getting this tattoo was to keep it from my mom who had no idea that I would get her face branded on my body for life. And she also had no idea that I would visit her the very same evening. When she looked at my arm, she asked me, who's that? She didn't even recognize her own face. Well, I guess it's because it was pretty swollen. The latest tattoo that I got is also a portrait of a person that means a lot to me. But other than my mom, unfortunately this person couldn't see the end result. It is a picture of my grandfather who passed away. It used to hang on a wall and I was looking at it being a little kid and I always liked that picture. I don't know anything about this picture. I don't know what year it was taken in, where the picture was taken and who took it. This picture was in poster size and used to hang on the wall. And I actually had to take the picture down and take it out of its frame. To take this picture with me to the tattoo studio, I had to get it digitalized. This picture will now be safe forever, both on my computer and of course on my arm. So now you know about my tattoos and a little bit of the story behind them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.